You know what? It's almost as if the rumour mill knew that we would be recording the transfer rater today and have given us this golden rumour of Cristiano Ronaldo to Barcelona. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi on the same team, Stevie Nicol. Now, it does sound a bit far-fetched. Juventus said to be looking to move that wage bill of his and one of the clubs that he's been touted to is Barcelona, although I don't know if they've realised they've got financial troubles of their own. But what do you make of this rumour? Uh, I think it's it's listen. Rumors are either good or bad, and this is a bad rumor. I mean, all the reasons that Juventus are trying to shift them because of the money and also because of his age. Um, why would Barcelona want him? Um, I, it, it makes no sense to me at all. Um, you know, Cristiano's not a guy who who as a centre-forward is looking to link up with players. Uh, and certainly at Barcelona, that's what Messi needs. That's what Messi's always had. A centre-forward who's who's as much of a link man as a goal scorer. So uh, there's nothing about this that makes any sense, and, and whether it's financially or whether it's on the field of play. So, no, I think this is a rumour, yes, but it's a bad rumour. Yeah, pump the brakes on Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi playing in the same team just for now. The next one is Declan Rice to Chelsea. And there's been adding further fuel to that fire because he's been seen at John Terry's Portuguese holiday home. The two of them together, John Terry posted a picture on Instagram. And this one does seem to be gaining a bit of momentum. So what do you make of this one, Stevie? I think this makes sense. You know, when you already have Angola Kante there, uh, if you bring Declan and Rice in, then you can play all these forwards that seem to be either at Chelsea right now or are going to Chelsea. And, and by that, I mean the likes of Timo Werner, who's there. And it seems like Kai Havertz is going to be there as well. You know, you can you can play those two, Declan and Rice and N'Gola Kante, as two defensive midfielders uh, and let another what, four ahead of them uh, get after it in the attack. So... Listen, it makes sense because Declan Rice is a great player. He, he's maturing and getting better season after season. I don't think he's quite hit, at his peak yet. Um, but this this would make complete sense to me for Chelsea uh, and I think for Declan Rice as well. Speaking of defensive cover, the next rumour is Kaladu Koulibaly to Manchester City. And this looks as though it's gaining even more ground right now because it seems that Napoli have identified his replacement, Gabriel, the Brazilian defender from Lille. So it would pave the way for Koulibaly to go to Man City. What do you say? I think this absolutely makes sense for, for both parties. You know, Manchester City are screaming out uh, for a centre-back. Well, not just a competent one, but, uh, but one that's going to push them forward, certainly, uh, as far as the defensive stability uh, and be a leader and be a personality. And Kula Bali absolutely is all of those things. You know, this this has seemed inevitable for me for the last, what, 18 months uh, that Kula Bali was going to end up at Manchester City. Uh, and that's that's where I think he'll end up. You know, it's, it's an absolute and utter no-brainer for City. They need a centre-back. Kula Bali absolutely fits the best, one of the best around right now. Um, and I'm sure the money won't be crazy. Uh, and of course, money has never been a problem to City one way or the other. Uh, so this, this to me, is absolute sense for both parties. When you look at money, it seems as though Real Madrid have a lot of players to offload to bring some money in. But one player that's not on that list of the names identified seems to be Isco, who Zinedine Zidane very much likes. We know that Martin Odegaard's going back to Real Madrid, but it seems as though Zidane is thinking that Isco will stick around. So the rumour is Isco to remain at Real Madrid. What do you think? Well, I'm sure if I'm Zidane, then I want somebody like Isco there. Yeah, I, I need a squad. Uh, if I want to, to regain the, the, the domestic title, uh, then I need a squad. And if I want to kick on again in the Champions League, then I need a quality squad. But for Risco, it seems like he's not part of the starting eleven. You know, he seems to be a, a bit part player to me. Um, you know, you've got young Rodrigo on one side, Hazard on the other, and Benzema up the pipe. I mean, unless you're going to try and play Isco as one of the three in the middle of the park, which I don't think would be a good idea, then if I'm Isco, uh, I would be looking to get out of there and, and get playing. Um, your career doesn't last that long and you can feel really comfortable. I'm sure Isco feels comfortable there. 
But you know what? You should be comfortable when you're playing. You should be comfortable when you're not playing. And that's what's happening right now. So so for Zinedine Zidane, this absolutely makes sense. I need a squad. I keep Isco. For Isco, doesn't make any sense. And actually, if you think about it, Real Madrid need money. Uh, and regardless of who they say is available, if somebody comes in with a good bid for Isco, I don't see how they're going to turn it down. So for Zidane, great. For Isco, not so good. There may be time to move on for Isco. Most of the transfer room is not too far-fetched today, except for that first one. Cristiano Ronaldo to Barcelona. Stevie Nichol says absolutely not. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.